how a secret, I mean, as far as the script goes, do you guys get to see the whole thing? You did, Emily? You got the whole I, thing? I'm I guess not the she only got one. Glasses. I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> You're the only one that Robert got the Robert didn't. I did. <laughs> really? No, yeah. yeah. very trustworthy. Is that true? Is that for real? I didn't. The first, the, the well, the Winter Soldier, I didn't. Uh, so they I, I just thought, like, just, you know, the scenes that I was in. You very are more trustworthy than, than they are. Now, we were talking. Inherently, yes. I'm Chris sure. Evans <laughs> told us, and uh, it's a strange story because Robert says it is not exactly true that that Robert convinced him over the telephone to take the part. All right, I did. You did tell him to take the yeah, part. Yeah, I just have don't you, like agreeing with that guy every time he says Have you something. been compensated <laughs> by him for this? Have you, ah. have you received anything in the That's way of a, a gift? Point. Yeah, very, uh, very good point. Very good. He got me a fountain pen set a couple years ago. Those can be expensive, actually, Yeah, these, these were pretty lousy. <laughs> did you guys take anything from the set, uh, a memento, any piece of your, your costume or anything like that? I, um, I didn't know. You no, didn't. I Nothing. Did not. no. I would have stolen everything from the set. Like, I just, I would not be doing that with Marvel. Like, they just, they know everything. They do. They have a strict inventory of all that stuff. I'm sure on, they uh, do. on Age of Ultron, there was a massive Avengers A, which is outside the uh, Avengers Center. Uh huh. I have it. Where is it? I said, I I said uh, why is this in, in England? Send it back to LA. I'll put it in my office. They're like, seriously? I said, yeah, yeah, I'll wait. And it's there? I have it. You have it, right. I'm supposed to share it. I'm supposed to share it. It's supposed to move around like an exhibit. Pass it around? Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah that's it. And when you were, guys were young, I know, like, this young uh, man, Tom Holland, do you yeah. feel like, are you a mentor to him? Um, look, I think uh, whenever someone's coming in for their, their first time around, you just, you want to create a sense of comfort. And then if you're not talented or good, you're not going to be around much longer anyway. So the fact that we're all still here no means we kind of know what we're doing. But, you know, I, mentors are important. Did I, you have one growing up? Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, he really showed me the ropes. Was he really your mentor? No. no. <laughs> He's still in Depeche mode, mate. <laughs> I'm wondering what, the, what ropes he showed you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is the rope to my robe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have, well, I have a rather shocking story about his mentorship. Go really. ahead, tell okay. it. I went to visit him. We were doing uh, back to school. Mm -hmm. And I, thank you. I went, to, I went to visit him. I'm meeting the great Rodney Dangerfield. He opened the door. He was wearing a robe. It was not fully looped. <laughs> And he, I, these big old Kiwis were hanging out. Oh, God. Do you, and do you have those in your office? Or... <laughs> well, do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.